You can just come over here because there you have the best view on the drone. Um, yes, safety always first, yeah? Otherwise we would not be standing here. So just come over here, please. Have your photographs happy ready as well. We'll have a photograph who's covering everything so yet you get enough media afterwards. And uh, the drone will right in the few minutes land on the van of the roof, yeah? Uh, which, Andreas, where are you? Here you are. From which direction is the drone coming in? Uh, it will be coming over from there. From there? Yeah. Yeah. And then, can you describe the landing process now a little bit so that we are yeah. prepared what's happening? Yeah. So the system uh, is flying now autonomously, right? So it has a bunch of coordinates that completely is autonomous. There's yeah, it's nobody. Being, it's being supervised by no the operations camera, autonomous. No nothing. Yeah? No, no. There's absolutely. Completely. Yeah, uh, I, I, you highlight a key point. Uh, there's no cameras. There's no. We steer very clear of any uh, privacy issues. I mean, we're purely a logistics play, and um, uh, our drone is only built for transporting goods from A to B. So. Uh, the um, flight plan is now loaded with the drone and the drone is executing um, and uh, it will arrive on top of the van with GPS accuracy which is plus minus um, uh, three meters in this location and then it will start descending. When it's about 10 meters above the van roof it will see a beacon signal that is emitted from the, uh, from the roof of the van. So you see a round um, Just can close, a component. Just close if you like to. It's, yeah. it's yours, not ours. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So um, a, a beacon is emitting a, a, a positional reference there and allows the van to land auto automatically uh, with precision on the van roof, which is very important from a safety perspective. So there's a signal coming up from the van? Yeah, yeah, yeah. you yeah. see a round unit uh, behind the Mercedes-Benz logo, there is a black so round unit yeah. that so has been integrated. So the black round unit is transmitting yeah. the signal? Yeah. Okay. And the, the Exactly, yes, yeah. exactly. It's precision landing yeah. and that yeah. makes it unique, you know, you can't buy that off the shelf somewhere. And then of course, you know, talking about integration and safety, right? If for whatever reason the van departs its location, our cloud systems will know immediately. And then, you know, it will, the algorithms will kick in and uh, the drone will be de would be developed in a different location. So connectivity, connecting the van asset to, to the cloud system that controls the whole operation is the key here. The, uh, the operation is being supervised. It's, it's like air traffic control. Um, so we operate a command and control center. Uh, currently it's in Zurich. We also have a system in California, but for the operation today, uh, we have this um, in, in Zurich. Um, and uh, it's all over the air, right? Over the internet um, uh, connections into the, the, the system. So what happens if there's a problem? Can you stop the drone? Yeah. Can you explode it? <laughs> no, not explode it, no. You can command it to, to go back. <laughs> you can command it to go back, um, you can command it to stop where it is and hold position, right? But how long, I mean, from the, at one point it will be, batteries will be empty. That's right. The maximum flight time is about 25 minutes. So what happens if, if, if it has to land, but it's not a controlled land, landing? Um, the, uh, there's a parachute system that is embedded in the, uh, in the drone. Uh, so if you have an anomaly like this, uh, the uh, motor power will be cut off and then the parachute system will eject and the parachute system again was developed to meet the safety standard uh, for uh, not causing injuries when the drone is, 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 uh, would be sort of on a parachute fall. Uh, again, uh, just to give you a sense of size and you will see it in a minute, uh, the drone is about 1.2 by 1.2 meters and it weighs 10 kilograms. And safety first is always a principle, especially of this, uh, this pilot, right? That's right, yeah. yeah. So tell us something about the weather conditions. If we have, we have nice weather conditions. What if it's snowing, raining, yeah. fog? Uh, it, because this is the first pilot operating, uh, operation in Zurich, we're starting with a very conservative uh, weather envelope, we call it operational envelope. So we're basically flying in favorable weather. Winds up to 8 meters per second, gusting at 12, if you, you know, can, um, uh, like the specific numbers. And um, uh, in this pilot in Zurich, we will only fly um, in uh, conditions that are not oh, raining. Yeah. You know it's Your eyes on that. Sorry yeah. to interrupt you, Andreas, but honestly, everybody's now looking at the drone. It's flying very fast, right? It's flying at 70 kilometers per hour. And that's the beauty of an automated system for a mega city or a city. And now it's stopping in the air. And that means now it's making the GPS coordination here? That's right. So it has the GPS coordinates of the van. 
it performs a safety maneuver up there while it gets authorization from the van. Can I land? Is the van roof clear? Yeah. So if another drone is standing there, it's not landing. Yeah, it would not be landing. So it now, now it's starts going down, the, right? Yeah, so it got the authorization now and it will come down. And all this is automatically happening in the in software, right? Fully automatic process, right? Yeah. yeah. It's amazing. So now you'll see it uh, recognizing the beacon from the van. Yeah. So now it's making the fine adjustments on the landing, right? That's right. So it slows down and it, it makes sure that... Yeah. yeah. So safety first is also visible in this landing process. And you see we have the first guests over there who look what is, what is happening, yeah? And it's going down very smoothly, so nothing happens to the goods landed on the, on the roof. It creates some tension, especially for us, I guess. I think it takes advantage of the photo opportunity. <laughs> yeah. Landed, your applause, please. Andreas, very impressive. Yeah. Great teamwork. Uh, yeah. So it's a pilot. Yeah. Again, you know, I mean, details that that make this work, right? So the vehicle now released its payload by itself. Yeah. And the van driver goes up there, takes the payload, and here we have the first ever delivery of an e-commerce so item happening in Europe and I think globally over a city. D delivered by zero then, yeah? yeah. And to zero. So Peter be proud. Can you pick up I the package from, up, from yes, your zero sure. people? And normally the drone would take off again, but for photo purposes it stays here, right? Yeah, we leave it here. Now you would go to into the next assignment, go back and pick yeah. up the next parcel, meet the other van and so forth. So I'm so lucky that we are, is Thank there you. really coffee inside? So not that it's... <laughs> I hope we can we have to get the coffee. Check I will check in a second. <laughs> oh, we're going to have a double check then. Yeah? So that's exactly the moment when... So just come and have a look. Come yeah? And now so we see if we have happy customers. Here is the... Let's, let's put it back this I, one. I can help. hold it. And here's the coffee, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> it's so much tension, honestly. It's a pilot. So. Yeah, it's never been done before. Yeah. I'm really proud of being part of it. Okay, so we can hand yeah, over good. the coffee to... Uh, uh, just open the package. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, so, here's there's the a black and blaze coffee. Amazing. Cool. Um, while well. we prepare the coffee, we kindly request you to go back inside and we have the opportunity to get some questions and answers. And he's the smiling owner now huh, of the coffee. <laughs> <laughs> If all customers are as happy as you, uh, I think you'll have a great future.